<laughs> hey, something innocuous. Can you guys hear me? Let us know. Looks like something innocuous says, are you on a boat pretending to be T-Pain? <laughs> Basic Stealth Camping Adventures says, hey, something. Something innocuous says, hey, Basic Stealth Camping. Camp Like a Boon says, HRS. Uh, simple outdoors in the house. Hey, go, buddy. Jeanette M, thank you for coming. Cat Like a Boon says, howdy, yo. Sean Woods, hey, brother. What up? Uh, Kathy loves campings in the house. All right. Josh is late to his own party. Yeah, I had probable problems again with the live streams. I don't know how to set them up anymore because it's all new. <laughs> Something innocuous says, last minute Haribo. <laughs> Terran Studios, how you going brother? Got the hammock here. It was my internet that was off. Oh yeah. JSS asking if I'm an Area 51. No, I'm not an Area 51. That was a good guess, though. <laughs> McHappy Campus in the house. Thank you for coming. O'Doyle Rules, my 500th subscriber. Thank you for coming back. Eileen Alexander, how you been? Thank you. Thank you for joining me. It's a long time since I've seen you. Backyard Hiker, Star Camping Alliance. So, my nephew, how are you going? <laughs> Thank you for joining. Sean Woods is in the house. John Long. Howdy, Josh. Are you on a train? Oh, was it that easy? Everyone say congratulations, John Long, for guessing where I am. I'm in a train car right now. <laughs> and not only, John Long, am I in a train car, but I'm actually in the engine bay, so there'd normally be a big engine here. And uh, yeah, this is like a display train and it's had its engine taken out and I was gonna camp above it, but when I looked inside the grill of the front, which is that bit there, I saw that it was hollow, man. <laughs> but you can't get into this train, like all the doors are locked and everything. And it's a display train and I had to crawl under the train and up through the running gear to get inside and we made it and i've been here all night man and yeah it's pretty crazy yo <laughs> we have a few of those but they're all fenced in wow all right guys so just give me one moment i just gotta start taking start packing up just give me one moment just hold tight guys
got any rings in there yet? Not yet. <laughs> Bloody shit, hey, I work outside, it's really stuffed me out. You like today? I work outside all the time, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me a bit of a pain in the bum. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think I get the rain back here, it's nice and cool. Yeah, yeah. inside a train it's like a display train and, and there's dog park right next door there's a dog park with dog walkers I don't, I don't really care if they bust me out I just stayed here last night I'll just leave it's better if we don't get caught You can't actually get in here. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta crawl underneath the train and to get inside. There's only one way in here. Oh, there's no way to get in here but crawl in. So I'm pretty safe inside. I just don't wanna get busted. Thank you so much to coming to this live stream, guys. I'm not stealthing tonight. I just finished. I just woke up. Just over there is a dog park and this is where we stayed last night.
and John Long, you guessed right buddy, we are inside a train, it's like a display train, and this is where the engine would be, and I was going to camp on top of it, in between the roof, because i got a roof underneath this, over the top of this display train, and I was going to hang in the roof, but then I looked through this grill, and I realized the whole area was empty so yeah we snuck under and up and inside and that's where we woke up this morning i just want to give a big shout out to basic stealth camping bro thanks for dropping me five bucks man because that's rad <laughs> Yeah, everybody say thanks to Sam, because that's just awesome. <coughs> and in here, you can't see. But in this space here where it's real dark, it's, uh, yeah, it's like, it's like where the driver would sit and drive the train. <laughs> Jeanette M, Jody Carter, thank you so much. So yeah, last night people could see in there, so I had to be really stealth. Thank you so much, Basic Staff Camping. Thank you so much, Jody Carter. Thank you so much, Jenny M. Please thank everyone who donated right now, man. This is just insane. McCappy Camper. Bam, you guys are awesome, man. Michael's Camping, how you going? So I'm pretty much trapped in here, guys, until I end this live stream. I'm not gonna show you the outside. I'm gonna save something for the video. But yeah, I can't believe we're flipping inside like an engine bay of a train, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donations, guys. <laughs> I'm just going to read some comments while no one's around. Where do we get to? All right. Basic Staff Camping says, best HRS live ever champion. Thank you so much, man. BJ says, well, what a spot. Jess F says, Josh, do you brush your teeth with a tongue or do you have falsies? I could never put that much sugar in my mouth. It'll make me cry. <laughs> I actually had some Haribos last night. But I'm getting kind of hungry now. <laughs> BJ says, thanks, Sam. Awesome Sam, Ho Jangle says so awesome. Sunny Anoka says, I can only eat mini Haribos nowadays, the full ones hurt my teeth so bad. <laughs> McCappy Camper says, awesome Sam. Sean Wood says, sweet basic. The base, a backyard hiker says, awesome Sam. GM says, way to go. Jeanette M just dropped five bucks. Jody Carter, 12.
in Lexington. Mark said, get yourself a stuffed Pepsi, brother. On you, I will. Thank you so much for joining this live. Thank you for everyone for coming to this live. This is intense. I'm going to keep running it until I read all the messages, though. Nice, Mark. Nice, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Says everybody. See, ha see Haney. My first live to catch you on. I'm a new subscriber. Love your videos. Keep it up. Everybody say to see Haney. Welcome to the team, man. He's a new subscriber. I don't get many subscribers. YouTube likes to keep me on the on the unknown. So everybody welcome C. Haney as a new subscriber. That's just awesome. Jeanette M says, get you some more lollies. I will, man. Don't you worry. These are all going to get a bit of credit for giving me credit. This is awesome. GM says, thank you, McHappy. Cody Carter says, this is a date from me, I think, is number one. To oh, this today from me, I think, is number one. Oh, we got another dog. Oh, Grave Digger's in the house. So is Mr. Jack Coffee. Follow your nose. All right, we got a dog lady there and two dogs. Where'd we get to? Can you have some more lollies? Here comes the dogs. There's heaps of dogs, man. There's so many dogs around here. Back out like it says it's a it's a Thomas the train deer. <laughs> Suddenly solo. How you going, brother? This challenges us all to find inventive stealth camping spots. It does, man. Push the limits, man. Like you're a skateboarder. That's why I love stealth camping so much, because it's like skateboarding. When you like when you're just searching through the city looking for that new skateboard spot, like waiting for that new big the building to be built so you can tear in there on a skateboard and find you know, that new spot. That's what stealth camping is to me. It's like skateboarding, finding that new spot that no one's ever skated before. That's me, man. That's my buzz. I'm not about cooking food and all that stuff. I'm about the location. Hanging my hammock anywhere. Bam! Kiwi and Oz. Oh, Kiwi and Oz, all sorts. Thank you so much, brother. Another five bucks, man. Mad respect. Do you know where I am, Kiwi? Do you know where I am? I'm... Because you're a Kiwi, you might actually know this location by chance. I am in a, in a display train. like So it's a train in a park, but it's just a display one. It's no longer in service. And they've, and they've ripped the whole engine out. And uh, yeah, Kiwi and all sorts, and Oz, you, you might know where I am. Thank you so much, Kiwi. Everybody say thanks to Kiwi for donating five bucks. Greg Digger, at Backyard, your Java drip is in the mail, brother. Oh, Greg Digger sending a Java drip to, to, to Backyard Camper. He must have been one of them 250 subscribers competition. Uh, Kathy Loves Camping says, smash the like button for Josh. Yeah, guys, you're going to love this video. It's not going to be a long one, but I crawled in here on my stomach, so you might as well hit the like now because... When it comes out in a couple of weeks, this video, you're going to love it. I promise you. Uh, GM says, thank you, Kiwi. Thank you, Kiwi. Smash the like button. Awesome, Kiwi. Jesse says, my friend tries to make me skateboard, but I have no equilibrium, so I can't even stand on it. Wow, man. Well, maybe you should get a hammock. Uh, that might be a bit safer. It's like a proper hammock's quite hard to, to fall out of. Um, unlike, don't get a Mexican one, though. Those Mexican hammocks, they just flip every time. You sit in them. I always got someone leaving now. So yeah, they're just taking their dogs and going. Uh, Jody Carter says, I'm jelling. I'm jelly, I wanted a Java drip. Well, man, man, I'm pretty sure that if it's a successful competition for Grave Digger, that he'll probably put another Java drip up to be won. So yeah. Get onto Grave Digger, say, man, that was a badass competition you put on, bro. And I missed out on winning a chance at a Java drip. So is there any way you could run another competition? Yeah. Hit Grave Digger up, you never know. Uh 
Oh, Grave Digger looking forward to the top five January challenge. Yeah, I don't know who the top five is yet. Has it been announced? I'm unsure. Survival Sam, have we got a top five for the Worldwide Staff Camping Alliance January challenge? Let me know. Kiwi and Oz all sorts of awesome. No, I don't, but got one staff camp and a coal train coming up. Oh, nice. Be careful if you're actually train hopping that coal train and it's moving, because that's against YouTube rules, and you won't be able to get money from it. But you could probably just run it anyway. But yeah, be careful about train hopping. And good luck to the coal train staff camp. And yeah, if I'm close by, invite me. But I know that you're down in the west coast of New Zealand, aren't you? So there's heaps of abandoned mines, heaps of abandoned train stuff down there. There'll be heaps of stuff like that to camp. That'll be flipping awesome, bro. Kiwi and Oz all sorts says, thank you, everyone. Grave Digger, you are in the States right now. That's right, Jack Coffey. He's in the States right now. He flips between here and Japan. Um, so, yeah, you never know where Grave Digger's going to end up, but it's probably either going to be Florida or Japan. Mav is in Japan, says Backyard Hiker. C. Haney retracted a message. Jess F., I would love to win one Grave Digger. Hint, hint. <laughs> I'm going on a mini vacation with Mrs. McHappy. Wow, are we going to go stealth camping some more five-star hotels? <laughs> man, have a lovely trip, McHappy Camper. Or, and uh, make sure you have a fun time with your wife, man. Treat her, treat her to a nice continental breakfast with orange juice on me. <laughs> C. Haney says, thanks for the welcome, everyone. I am a hiker and an avid hammock camper. I hope to get out and do some stealth camps. Yeah, it's so great, guys, that we're, like, there's a lot more uh, uh, New Zealanders hopefully getting into the staff camping. I'm looking forward to this. It's There's a few people in Aussie staff camping in the Staff Camping Alliance, but we need some more New Zealand members. That would just be fantastic. So, yeah, Kiwi and Oz all sorts. I can't wait to watch your first video. Make sure you hashtag it, Staff Camping Alliance. And, yeah. Make sure it's awesome, bro, because you're representing New Zealand. <laughs> Jody Carter says, I'll be waiting for the next one if you do another in the future. Java Drip. <laughs> yeah, edit out anything that looks encouragingly dangerous behavior and be super careful. Grave Digger says, stay stealthy, Josh. Well, I haven't been caught yet. At the beginning of that live, there was people walking around this train. But it's looking pretty good so far. Hopefully in another maybe five or six minutes, I might end this live stream. And then I'm going to sneak out of here. I'll show you where I came in. So this has all been sealed. Look, they've added extra iron. Look, see there? To stop people from getting in. But this one here has been removed and yeah I had to sneak in on my belly into here and uh, that's what was going down last night <laughs> just just before twilight <laughs> sneaking into a train bay <laughs> all right let's get back I'm trying to stay on top of these all these comments thank you guys for all the comments I'm loving this Jack Coffee says grave digger messenger me Grave Digger, don't forget to message Jack Coffee. Man. Yeah. Definitely message Mr. Jack Coffee. He is the man. I think I know where I want to camp in February for the challenge, but also a mountain lion territory and water is kinda of like a a buffet line, you know? Yeah, I get what you mean. Actually, you know what, Joseph? When I went to on the way to Yosemite National Park uh, we just stopped on the side of the road and I just to pull over you know how you're in a family car and everyone's in the car and, and every now and then you need to pull over yeah well we pulled over on the side of the road Jess and I swear to god man I go to I go to take a pee man on the side of the road because you know as you do on long trips in the middle of nowhere 
and down the bloody bank, man, was a mountain lion. Man, now he's just seen me run back to the car, man. But yeah, I saw a mountain lion while I was in the USA while, while taking a release on the side of the road. Man, I, was, I thought I was going to die, man. Man, I was like, when I seen it, I was like, whoa. Great Digger says... Great Digger says, 500 sub giveaway next journey. Okay, so when Great Digger gets to 500 subs, there's going to be another giveaway. That could be another opportunity to win something from Great Digger's channel. That's fantastic. Thank you, Great Digger. Thank you. It's just that says, but only other choice is the lake and in the middle of town, which is has dead bodies in it and is littered with dead fish and birds. Kind of a biohazard. Look, Joseph, we know you're in the middle of the desert and even if you just camp next to a sign that says water or if you camp somewhere that used to be an oasis that is dried up now or something, man, maybe like a, an, an old dried up canal, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's got to be water themed. We know you're going to go out of your way to do your best to partake in the February challenge, which is a water challenge. So yeah, if you guys don't know, and if you're a stealth camper, or maybe you're a first time camper, Basic Stealth Camping has released the next Stealth Camping Alliance challenge, and it's a water challenge. And man, doesn't matter if you're by a water tank, a water pipe, a water sign, in the water, around the water, at a water park, I don't know, set up the tarp over top of a hose or something, anything to do with water, just water, water, water. And make sure it's a stealth camp. All right. Jody Carter says, awesome source. Welcome to the Alliance at Kiwi. Yep, welcome to the Alliance. Where will you hang, where, where will you hammock tonight? Is that a question for me, Great Digger? A hammock tonight? Look, I've got one more night in this town. And unfortunately, with the big major flooding, I was a bit reluctant to stay on a roundabout. Uh, in the last week and so, week or so because like cars out of control in the rain going across the roundabout is pretty dangerous depending on the roundabout like some roundabouts are massive do it, do it really quick, right? or if, if It's okay, I'm just filming YouTube. It's okay. We just got busted, guys. We just got busted. Busted hardcore, man. <laughs> 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 we got busted, man. Hidden hammock, man. But I didn't get busted with my hammock out, so I'm just playing inside a train. <laughs> read the last of these messages we just got busted and i'm gonna say goodbye to everyone and it's gonna be time for me to leave i've actually got a lot of filming to go do because it wasn't a very interesting video i had to come here and there was so many dog walks last night and i had to lay low 
And when I snuck in here, I had to be really quiet. So I had a whole video of me just being in silence, pretty much. I tried to make it as interesting as I could, but I still got a lot to film today, just to make my video a bit interesting. <laughs> but uh, it's worth the it's worth the location is worth putting up on the internet. It's such a fantastic location, and man, how awesome was that? <laughs> hey, Lisa's day off. How you going? You can put the sleep mat on the cot, Jess. Oh, she's talking to Jess. Uh, busted, busted, busted. Yeah, busted. We got busted. <laughs> Did you see the kid's face? Look in here and go, there's a guy in the train. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> busted, busted. Ha, ha. Scared him. Nah, I'm not into scaring him. I know, kids are climbing on it. Yeah, kids were climbing on this chain, man. <laughs> Laugh, run, 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 everyone. Time to go, says John Long. Jimmy M, you were busted. All right, train car, yeah. Hey, hey, sub B860, young Nana. Thanks for joining us. Adventure Nomad, <laughs> we got busted Adventure Nomad. Just tell the kids you're a train conductor. Oh, man, great digger. Call the police, a weirdo in the train. I gotta go away. Eh? Yep, just a middle aged man playing in a train. Busted. Oh, time to go. Busted. Kiwi Chambers. Hey, brother. Classic, bro. Yeah, this is another New Zealand classic style camp, man. Adventures with Sog. They were well behaved. Kids around here would have probably thrown bricks at you. <laughs> oh, good to, good to see you, Adventures with Soggy. Oh. Lisa's day also is busted by kids. That's okay, says Jess F. Sometimes they make it interesting because of the tension. Exactly, Sog. Uh, hello, Kathy. There's a guy in there. Yeah, there's a guy. Oh, man. We might have to clip that out and make that a short, eh? <laughs> Big Joe. Hey, Big Joe. Did you see that? If you didn't know, did you, did you see that, Big Joe? We just got busted by some kids. <laughs> All right, I made it to the end, guys. It's now 33 minutes, and I like to end a live stream on 33 minutes because it's my favorite number. So thank you so much for joining me on this kind of impromptu live, stuck inside a train live. Thank you, John Long, for guessing where I was camping. Congratulations. I wish I could give you something right now, but I haven't got anything organized. Thank you so much for all the donations. McHappy Camper, Jeanette M, everybody who donated to the channel today. Basic Style Camping. There was someone else, but I've already forgotten. But don't worry, I'll go back and I always mention the donations in my videos. Thank you so much, guys. Everyone's saying goodbye. <laughs> 44 is more me, says McHappy Camper. <laughs> nah, man, 33 is my number, brother. Big Joe says I love. Love you. Yeah, I love you guys too. You've been on a staff camping adventure with Hidden Hammock. And now it's time to say goodbye. See you, Michael's Camping. Goodbye, Jessef. Thank you, Jeanette M. All right, guys. This is awesome. Thank you so much. And now I've really got to go. Hojango Outdoors. Catch you up. GM. Adios, amigo. Go with God, my friend. Go with God.